For Iowa's ag commodities traveling domestically and abroad, farmers know the journey is just as critical as the destination. Efficient transportation means a more secure food supply, more opportunities to sell to more places, and often better prices for farmers. The State of Soy spoke with Mike Steenhook, Executive Director of the Soy Transportation Coalition, for updates on a recent transportation plan announced by the Biden administration. More after this. My name is Charlie Brunker, and my wife and I and our kids run Precision Ag and try to be on the cutting edge every time we can. We turned on FMH Precision Ag Crop Insurance to harness what we're already doing, and we'll never look back. Grandpa used to call a field, you know, 100 acres, and now we're planting 90 of the 100 acres. Well, we're only paying for the 90 that we plant, and those details actually increased our APHs anywhere from 5 to 12 percent in the first year. The Soy Transportation Coalition, headquartered at the Iowa Soybean Association, supports efforts to improve transportation systems that deliver cost-effective, reliable, and competitive service for agricultural stakeholders. Steenhook tells the state of soy what the new Biden administration means for those efforts. Well, anytime any president decides to prioritize transportation infrastructure and actually devote a plan to address it, that's, that's welcome news because unfortunately infrastructure has been a neglected topic by both Republicans and Democrats for a number of years. So President Biden needs to be commended for putting forth, you know, at this point, the broad contours of what his infrastructure plan would be. The administration recently unveiled a $2.3 trillion American Jobs Plan with $621 billion devoted to investing in our nation's transportation infrastructure. Steenhook says this plan draws attention to needs in rural America, including the replacement of 10,000 rural short span bridges, a quest those in agriculture and the STC have been pursuing for years. We also appreciate the fact that there is funding allocated or at least proposed to be allocated for the inland waterway system and also our ports. And that's another topic that's been long neglected by both Republicans and Democrats. So we're happy to see that addressed as well. Steenhook says transportation is one of the best examples of bipartisan policy that lawmakers across the aisle can work on together. Hopeful the American Jobs Plan can lead to meaningful action for U.S. infrastructure, Steenhook is also aware of some potential obstacles in the proposal and shares his advice for the president and lawmakers. If we were to write the script, we would strongly encourage the president and Congress to really focus on something that all Americans can agree on, that you could get a bipartisan win if the focus is really on transportation infrastructure. So that opportunity is available. We hope they embrace it. Again, the concern is when you start making the bill larger and larger and larger, and you start departing more and more from what people, most people regard as transportation infrastructure, it becomes a heavier lift to actually get something accomplished. <laughs>